ship was nothing more than a hulk of metal without that crew. I grew up as a man, you know, grew into a man. Uh, I learned a lot about organization, skills I still use this very day, leadership, uh, all of those things. Uh, and by being the ship's postal clerk, uh, I also saw how the whole ship operated because I had to go every department, every unit that was on the ship. It's, it's well organized on the ship. You know, they had, to be, they had to be war ready at all times to go anywhere in any conflict anywhere in the world. Days at sea long. <laughs> they were very long. Uh, there's not much for you to do when you're not on watch, but you're usually on watch. Well, on watch means you're at work in your, in your unit. We'd go to GQ, GQ constantly, you know, Real, real, real. She kept the peace. She was out there, and she was she, she was the one that uh, you know, with her squadron. There was a squadron of six destroyers that uh, that were with her, and those destroyers circled every capital ship that went across the Atlantic. It, it honored me that they wanted me to even do it, and also that the Navy Memorial would allow it. Uh, because they had their own designer, he's in South Carolina, and he's a very capable designer. And I told him, I said, well, you know, they are not charging you anymore to, to let him do it. He says, I want you to do it. So I said, that's fine. So I did it. It's very moving because they ring uh, the ship's bell uh, each time a name's uh, deceased has, has been read, and the, the list was very long. Uh, we've got to keep the ship's memory alive.